Yo, welcome back. It's your boy gonna kill Strafe commentating on another video for the Indie Gaming Channel. What up, people? And we are back playing Assassin's Creed. And hopefully, I've actually done some extensive, well, not extensive, but I've done some tests. And I realized what the issue was with the commentary. And hopefully, we will not be experiencing the same issues. So, if you have been watching the video, you are probably asking yourself, oh my god, did you just see that? What the fuck? Holy shit, people are spawning out the ground. Alright, anyway, let's pretend we didn't see that, it's kind of freaky shit. The Assassin's Creed Unity app has been successfully connected to your console, that's fucking great. Alright, so, I was about to touch on that, but it kind of killed my buzz a little bit. Um, yeah, I was going to say that I have been a busy little bee. Uh, no, sorry, before I even touch on that, I wanted to discuss quickly why I'm using these settings in case you are experiencing similar issues. Now, as it has been widely reported that this game uh, on Ultra is, unless you have like some super duper like 3, 7, 980s and shit um, to push this game to like over 60 FPS and stuff um, at Ultra, then, <clears throat> um, you know, you're not... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Scratch that. Let me rephrase that, okay? This game, yes, okay, it will look smoother, feel smoother, ideally in higher frame rate. But to me personally, and I'm not being a fanboy, I'm just being me. Like in certain games, but in most games, I can notice it. But I feel that like it's a huge advantage. In this game, not so much because the single player game is a lot slower. Everything's kind of, you know, a bit slow pace. And because I use the Elgato to capture the. Um, my gameplay uh, and i'm using the, not the hd version i'm sorry i'm using the hd version i'm not using the second version the 60 fps version and because of that i'm kind of handicapping myself a little bit so if i try to render anything higher than 30 frames per second as you can see what's going to happen is for some reason it doesn't pass through properly and i start getting stream tearing and stuff like that and if i get screen tearing well that's just going to be shit for not only for my enjoyment but also for your own enjoyment as well, if you are watching it and taking an interest in the Indian Gaming channel and stuff like that. So, that's the reason why I've locked it to 30 frames, um, and 30 hertz, sorry. And the other thing is that if I lock it to 30 hertz, I have to have VSync on because the card, for some reason, it doesn't lock to 30 frames. locks higher than that. Uh, sorry, it pushes past 30 frames. And obviously, because the Elgato can't capture higher than 30 frames, we have the issue of screen tearing, which then leads me back to VSync. VSync is causing slight delays and stuff, but I've, it's not hindering or it's not affecting my enjoyment of the game, so I'm not too fussed about it right now. If it was an FPS shooter, then it would be a big problem, um, but it's not, so uh, I'm, I'm okay with that. So I'm playing with VSync, and that's the reason why I'm playing with VSync. And as you can see, no more screen tearing. Which is great. It's not as smooth as it could be. Um, well, you probably won't be able to tell in the video because it's going to be 30 frames per second anyway. But uh, yeah, there you go. And um, yeah, we were just, I was just discussing that uh, in the other videos, but which unfortunately never heard my opinion. This game is beautiful. I mean, absolutely beautiful. I tried to play it on low and it's just not the same. Unfortunately, it's just not the same. I also wanted to cover what I have been up to. Um, these are the shops right here. Um, these are, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure what the fuck these are, alright? The gold chests, which, when you try to approach them, they tell you to fuck off, because you've got to have, be a certain rank or something. Now, the fucked up thing is, is that you have to download, um, the Ubisoft, no, the Assassin's Creed Unity companion app, which you saw a message about that earlier, that is connected, and, um, that is the only way that you can do certain like do you remember in assassin's creed brotherhood when you had a brotherhood and you'd recruit assassins and stuff like that it's a similar kind of thing but now they're called initiates and then you send them out on missions and stuff and you do that all from your app yeah now the problem is is that if you haven't unlocked certain areas of the map then you will not have access to those missions so I mean, I catch the tram to work, so for me, I kind of like do that on the way to work and stuff and try to level up and stuff like that. So, um, because I've heard that, I've read reports that it's a ball ache to earn money in this game, apparently. I've not experienced that just yet, 
um so i mean i reserve my judgment on that but that's what i hear so um apparently i need to be a certain level to access these gold chests and i need to do a certain amount of um they're called nomad missions uh in the app um so you basically like you know uh, you have a assassinations contract and you send out assassins which you recruit and stuff or you buy um and then you kind of uh you know, you kind of have, once is a certain um, loot is unlocked, then you can go ahead and pick it up in the game. That kind of bullshit. Um, but the problem is that bullshit is that it doesn't fucking work. So it doesn't work, it doesn't sync up. And if it does sync up, you still don't have access to it. For example, I've played nearly all of the Assassin's Creed that have come out, except for the stupid ones. Um, it still says, apparently, I have never ever played Assassin's Creed. My Xbox Live account is linked to my Uplay account, and still. It refuses to acknowledge that I have played other Assassin's Creed and I've got an itchy ear. One second. Right. Um, so, for that reason, um, I am apparently have zero XP and some of the features which I require to get these bastard chests are locked. So, um, that's kind of not good. Uh, but, nevertheless, let's crack on the mission. I've also got all the, the chests as well. And I've got apparently how much money have I got? Does it tell me? Um, not here. Does it tell me? What did it tell me? Oh, escape. Twenty-four hundred francs or francs, I think, and three hundred twenty helix points. I think they are. I'm not sure what these points are. Not yet, anyway. I'm sure somebody will tell me eventually. So, anyway, um, in fact, let me see. I've got the app open. Uh, see, it says the connection to Assassin's Creed Unity was lost. Try again. This just constantly happens. Uh, play no man mission assassin unity app companion to open this chest but the problem is is that in this fucking place there are no more there, there are no um companion apps to play so i don't get it now either like i need to advance in the story or something i don't know but um yeah that shit pissed me off so we're gonna crack on with the storyline and hopefully we can uh, get a crack and i've lowered the brightness a little bit because i noticed in the video it was a little too bright um, so hopefully this will look a lot sexier. Here we go. We are going to see the Estates General, Sequence 1, Memory 2. Let's do this. Thrown out onto the street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch you. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Make way, make way! Please excuse my carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view.
Right. So all this stuff I've already done um, in the, uh, you know, when I was kind of just roaming around and stuff and just trying to get all the loot boxes, which is, um, I really should listen uh, to uh, the inhib my inhibitions, which tells me that I will be probably told to get viewpoints anyway. But this is the way I like to play Assassin's Creed. Uh, I love to get all the loot boxes and chests and viewpoints in a certain area before I actually progress with the mission. That's just how I've always played this game. Um, and that's probably never going to change. I just find it more fun that way. Do all the grinding, get all the money. But yeah, there you go. So let's just do this. This has already been done, but oh well. I'm guessing that's the young chick, right? Press W and E. Okay. So now you gotta press E to jump down. Press Eagle Vision to locate guards around you. Okay. What's your dance crowd? Okay. I'll settle this soon enough. They're not getting in here for you. Alright, so this is how he wants me to do it. Alright, no worries. That's how he wants me to do it. I can do it this way. You know? I was gonna jump up there and get up there. But. I guess the game has chosen a different path for me. I ain't complaining. Let's use the eagle vision. The hell was that? All right. So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Eagle vision also has a um, it has a thingy we do that as well. A cooldown. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Let's see if we can get that guy off me. Let's see if we can get him off me. Follow the lower gallery. This is the lower gallery. One thing I am impressed in this game is that even the buildings inside uh, Assassin's Creed have like, you know, they have, they're very well built. They have rooms and corridors and all this other stuff. And that's pretty great because this is kind of like, it's never been like that really in Assassin's Creed. You know what I mean? How do you open it? There we go. Press E. See what I mean? Like, look how detailed it is. And it's never ever been like that before in Assassin's Creed. Let's see if I can climb this. Yeah, it won't let me. I've got to behave myself, I guess. So I've got to go this way. I'm guessing that's not the way to go. Alright. Let's uh, go up here. See what I mean about the app? It just... It's annoying. It just keeps disconnecting all the time. Alright, Eagle Vision highlights objects, enemies, and targets around you. That's a cooldown before you can use it again. Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, here we go. Augmentation des impôts. Not these two again. Must have tailed me from the estate. 
leur inégale répartition. Une inquiétude générale, un désir exagéré d'innovation se sont emparés des esprits et finiraient par égarer totalement les opinions si on ne se hâte pas. Shit. Ah. All right. Let's try that again. Press E to see the weapon having your weapon out. Okay. So let's go back here again. Oh, nope. That's already been done, so I guess that I got seen. Let's go back. Up here. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Hugo! I suppose not. This guy's fights like he's queer. Easy, big fella. Let's kill this guy. Can't be bothered with him. You can't take us both at once. Very slow the fine. Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You boy, sir! What are you doing there? Uh running. Oh god. Guard in blue are the police. If you attack or kill any in the line of sight, they will attack. Okay. All right, I must escape the area. All right, let's take some unusual routes that we don't normally take, like another Assassin's Creed. Oh god! Oh shit! They got guns. That's not good. Oh lord! Back at home, I suppose. What? Another 100%? Wow. Alright. Okay. Well, that sucked. Anyways. See you in the next video, I guess. Peace.